So your experience at Burning Man was really, really great. But how on earth do we integrate? So at Burning Man, you felt vibrantly alive. But how do we live this 365? So I had an amazing experience at Burning Man, both in 2011 and 2012. And I really want to live the Burning Man culture, but I want to do more than just wear my goggles and my headlamp all the time. So this video is about how we can live Burning Man culture 365 days a year. And this also applies to other festivals and amazing events that we go to. It's like we have this incredible experience. We're like, wow, this is what life is supposed to be. This is what I want to be doing all the time. But then we go back to what some people call the default world. And we're like, wow, this sucks. I have to work at a grocery store or I have to do, um, do whatever task that's boring, you know? And it's like, how do we live these things all the time? So that's what this video is asking. I'm curious what you learned at Burning Man or what you experienced and how you plan to put that into action. So at, at my camp, Red Lightning, we were just talking about like what our intentions are to go back to the world, our regular day-to-day -day life. How do we embody these values and these principles? Um, so I'm curious what you experienced. If you wanna post a comment on this on Facebook or on YouTube, I would love to hear. I feel when we each share our different ideas and practices, we all benefit because we're all in this together in this crazy predicament. Um, personally, when I was at Burning Man, I experienced a lot of crazy things, but um, one thing that really stuck was like a recurring theme was just really understanding the concept of going with the flow and feeling like what the big flow of energy was, was guiding me towards. Um, and that basically came up for me as like listening to my heart, listening to my intuition instead of what my rational mind was trying to tell me what to do or like what based on the past, um, what I was supposed to do. But it's, it's kind of like going with the flow. You have to be constantly looking out for signs from the universe to like guide you and Burning Man is kind of like a big playground for that. So I, I feel like I got more in touch with my intuition and just kind of like figuring out signs from the universe. And so my personal intention is to keep doing that in my day to day life, looking for like signs of like, okay, what seems to be flowing? Where am I being blocked? And how can I progress in the best way? Um, so that's my personal intention to go with the flow more um, but I would love to hear what yours are. And I listed here just six or seven other recommendations of things that I'm trying to apply or things that I just recommend are possibilities. Um, the first one is connect with your tribe. So whether that's in your local area, having potlucks, going to a yoga studio, having jam sessions, basically just connecting with people that reflect our passions. Like at Burning Man, there's 60,000 of us, you know. Um, the second one is living gift culture, embodying the gift economy. I'm going to post some links to that. I'm going to make a whole playlist of videos about gift culture because we've got a lot of videos on this channel about gift culture, which is a key principle of at Burning Man. Um, the third thing is understanding the dysfunction of the status quo or the default world because in order to live in a new way we have to understand what's screwed up about the current way so I'm going to post some links to essays by Charles Eisenstein who I highly recommend reading and listening to for me he just like articulates and pinpoints like this is what's screwed up about the regular system and here's the alternative and it's just so satisfying to like finally see these things 
And I feel like a lot of people go to Burning Man and it's like this huge breath of fresh air. They're like, wow, this is what life is supposed to be like. But then we go back to the default world and we get back used to it because we don't fully understand why it's screwed up or what we're not enjoying about it. Um, the fourth thing is having a personal energetic practice. For example, yoga, tai chi, qigong, ecstatic dance. I got a, uh, a leftover yoga mat. It's bright pink, my favorite color. Um, at from Burning Man, which is a kind of cool relic. Somebody left it behind. Um, but having a daily yoga practice for me is extremely helpful to just continually be flexible, open, healthy, etc. As many people at Burning Man learn these cool new practices and it's just a matter of doing them in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, number five is <clears throat> surrounding oneself with inspiring music, art, and other stimuli. So at Burning Man, I've been so inspired by all the visual art, all the incredible music, just new types of music and artistic expression. And I feel it's really like fuel for the soul to surround ourselves with these things in our day-to-day -day lives so whether that's putting up visionary art in your room or whatever we've got a bunch of videos on this channel about that exact thing so i'll post links to those um, number six is just traveling i've been traveling for the last couple months and it's been amazing in so many ways i encourage you to just go for a trip or a hike or any amount of traveling is just a really p easy way to learn and to experience new things and just love this beautiful world. Um, you can couch surf. There's so many ways. Um, and the seventh thing is using new language, new, new concepts, new memes, new metaphors, ways that we can articulate these things we're feeling and experiencing um, because language, I feel, is how these things come into existence. You can speak the world into existence, as Terrence McKenna says. Um, so I'll, we have a bunch of videos on this channel also about language. Um, I think we will have a playlist about it, too. So please check those out. Anywho, those are seven just crazy recommendations. Please post your feelings, thoughts, just share what you experienced at Burning Man and what you intend to do in your regular life. And as I said before, this can also apply to other festivals or gatherings besides Burning Man because they're all just kind of embodying the same values. So thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Scoobly-doo.